This is a relatively short video, but it is important for us. And it's the concept of diminishing marginal utility. Now, essentially, economists have what's called a law of diminishing marginal utility. Now, economists with laws, it's not like it's something that can't be violated. Um, it can. Uh, but we basically are seeing here that there's a tendency for marginal utility to eventually decrease. going to eventually decrease as more of the product is consumed. Uh, with the exception of addictive goods, which obviously altered the psychology um, of the human body, um, most products, you kind of get tired of consuming the product after you do it a bunch of times. Uh, pick anything, right? I mean, I once worked in a um, place that sold donuts. Oh, and it was great the first day. Who doesn't like donuts? But... The problem, right, is that you keep eating donuts and donuts and donuts, and eventually you even hit the smell of donuts. Uh, every year for my birthday, I eat the number of pieces of sushi as I am years of age. Um, but, right, uh, now that I am older, uh, it's getting increasingly difficult to eat all those pieces of sushi because by the last piece of sushi, right, you're just like, oh, my God, just let this end. Um Things are great in the beginning, but then get rougher and rougher as, as time goes on. Now, we can see this in our general shapes of our indifference curves, where the utility is held constant. Remember that the slope of this is the marginal utility I get from vitamins over the marginal utility I get from keyboards. Let's look at it this way. What if I went from A to B? You can see here that I increased my vitamins a significant portion. But there's a very, very small decline in my keyboards. Meaning, it took a lot of extra vitamins to compensate for just a very slight loss of keyboards. Why? Because I already got tons of vitamins, right? It doesn't, it's not that more vitamins doesn't make me happier. That is still true. From A to B. More vitamins still make me happier. Just not as much. And it works the other way too. Right, let's do this as C and D. Here at C I have a lot of keyboards. I can give up a lot of keyboards and I only have to get a few more vitamins to replace that. Why? Because I already have a lot of keyboards. So if I give up, right, by giving up a bunch of them, I only need a very small increase in the number of vitamins to offset that. Right? Because here I'm getting more happiness from vitamins, but less happiness from keyboards. So... As I read the graph, from left to right, then my total utility is constant, and 
my quantity of vitamins is going up. But my marginal utility for vitamins is falling. These things are all true as I read this graph from left to right.